So my name is Taka Yamamoto. Uh, I'm the uh, president of Rakuten Travel Inc., which is the uh, largest online travel agency in Japan. And we are growing, I mean, the, we are big in Japan, but I'm trying to grow globally to be the leading like, travel agency. Okay, WTTC research suggests that tourism in Asia Pacific region will grow by 5 to 7 percent a year over the next decade. What is driving this growth? I think the biggest driver, as they, I mean, as people say, is the growth of the economy itself. Mm -hmm. As the economy grows, we do have more money or like more time to spend for the regular things, and that's that's the basic foundation. But even more than that, even more importantly, the uh, the biggest growth ratio, I mean, trend, even faster than the other areas of the years ago, yeah. is uh, the technology is supporting the growth. Like the, uh, the one of the biggest factor would be the uh, expansion of the uh, social networks in the SNS, where people could share the uh, like the enjoyable experiences over the internet. Mm -hmm. So you could be influenced a lot yes. by the SNS. Like your friend went to Hawaii or Japan, mm -hmm. had a great dinner. Mm -hmm. I watched the uh, like the movie or photos. Mm -hmm. Then I want to <laughs> If I do have money, then I want to go. That kind of like the experience shared through the internet or the social network is supporting the growth. Okay, thank you. So what benefits do you feel an increased travel profile can help the destination to grow? I think that the direct impact is the economical things as the, if we do have lots of tourists yeah. into my town, mm -hmm. of course uh, like the economy is really good for the economy of my town like the, having more customers in the restaurants, mm -hmm. having more guests at hotels, mm -hmm. more friends, and I mean, more people coming to the mm -hmm. theme park. But the other, like the additional benefit, mm -hmm. aside from the economy, is finding out the secret attractive things, like the secret things, mm -hmm. uh, which was like, which we as the like the residents mm -hmm. haven't noticed before, but okay. found out by the travelers. Like the, those are the things which is like the, as travelers have unique values, mm -hmm. uh, they tend to find the new things, mm -hmm. like the usual things for us, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah. As <laughs> yeah, that's the like the additional benefit of having the uh, tourist into our own town All to right. find out new things. Mm -hmm. So the theme of WTTC Asia this year is staying ahead of tomorrow. So in, in what ways is the accommodation sector here in Asia ahead of the other regions of the globe? I think in lots of, I mean, <laughs> in lots of ways I could explain, but the, uh, I think the accommodation, oh, one of the, like, the uh, technological or like, technology trend, which is unique in some of the Asian market, mm -hmm. is the advanced technology and experience mm -hmm. in the mobile. Like having Korea and Japan, mm -hmm. one of the leading like the 3G and the LTE yeah. uh, like the dominated countries, mm -hmm. right markets. Mm -hmm. I think there are uh, uh, some of the advantages or experiences Asian or especially the Korean or Hong Kongese, Taiwanese, mm -hmm. Japanese hotels accommodation have mm -hmm. is how they could promote their services better mm -hmm. on the small smartphones. Mm -hmm. Whereas as yeah. they had the experience of being booked through the feature phones even on the feature phones, mm -hmm. which did not, feature phone hotel booking didn't exist so much oh, in Europe or Americas. So they do have the longer experience mm -hmm. in promoting or presenting their attractive things mm -hmm. of hotels over the small phones. And that's, uh, I mean, at Raft and Travel, we are having like the uh, big portion of the bookings are already coming from the mobile, mm -hmm. which we do see as a result of not just the consumers want to use the mobile phones, but as a result of the mental, like the, uh, how do you say, like the hoteliers are expecting it. Yeah, and they, they are already like, uh, used to it, uh, ready to present themselves. So the uh, technical advantage of, I mean, as consumers are ahead for like, adapting the mobile technologies in Asia, in some markets, hoteliers are better used to leveraging it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much.